Hey guys, this is Bülent from KV3C1 Audio. Uh, we are so glad to release the first beta version of Syncmaster 1 for iPhone. Uh, I will do some demonstration today on my um, iPhone 8 Plus. We have different sizes for iPhone 7 uh, slash 8 or iPhone uh, 7 Plus, 8 Plus and also iPhone 11 or iPhone XR. We have three different sizes available. Now when you run the app for the first time, it loads the default presets here. This is this is the default presets uh, it starts with. Of course, you can just uh, click on this uh, preset name and then uh, choose from some templates. Or you can click on the arrows You can click on these arrows to change the presets. Uh, I have a MIDI controller available, so I will just uh, uh, turn on my MIDI controller for MIDI input. Now, in this area, I can basically swipe between swipe left and right to change the current page. And as you see, uh, the current page name changes when I do this swipe, swipe movement. And I can also swipe in this area. Here you can actually see the uh, tab names here, page names here. So you can um, you can quickly switch between pages uh, by clicking on these buttons. Uh, now let's go back to the settings page. This is the last page here. You can also double click the menu. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the launch key 25 controller. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the main screen. Now on the main screen, uh, we added some new features for the main display. If you click on those, if you long press an oscillator, you can just change the wavetable index or the phase of the oscillator like this. Or you can long press the filter and then change this cutoff and resonance. And also this one. Now, uh, it's something we added with the, uh, with the desktop version. It's now available for iOS as well. I will just switch to the filter page. And when, whenever I press a note, you see uh, these little circles moving around the knobs. That's, uh, that's the real-time uh, modulation information. That's the real-time feedback uh, we display for modulation information. Um, that modulation information is also available on the mode matrix here. I'll just switch to the mode matrix. As you see, the LFO2 is uh, moving over time. And if I change, if I press my MIDI keyboard at different velocities, you will see that the velocity uh, source on the second mode matrix slot is also changing. This is a great feature uh, that helps sound designers uh, get visual feedback when designing a new preset. Um, and I hope you will find it useful. Um, so I'll go back to the main screen. Now let's switch to the ARP. Uh, we don't have much space for the ARP on, on the iPhone, so we all, we added a second pop-up window. You just click on this zoom button here, and it switches to the, to a bigger window like you see here. And you can long press to change the step volumes, like this. And yeah, so this is how, or you can just uh, tap to add or remove notes like this. And let's turn on this arpeggiator. Now 
Now, something you see above the keyboard, we have global and preset scales displayed. And these uh, scales are actually microtunes in Scala format. And we supply a lot of scales here. Let's look at them. For instance, we have, by default, we have the chromatic equal tempered scale selected. We can choose, for instance, some alternate, some, let's search for pentatonic, like dominant Asian pentatonic. Let's choose that one. And I'll turn off the arpeggiator. So the, the yellow notes here are the notes of the scale. And here you see um, this button, fill button pressed. Let's just unpress this. And now the keyboard changes. Um, when, you, when, when the fill button is not pressed, basically um, the notes of the scale are not spread across 12 semitones. Across, they're not spread uh, across an octave. So each semitone on your keyboard uh, uh, is mapped to a note for the scale. For instance, now I'm going to play with my MIDI keyboard. I'm just going up and down chromatically here, one semitone at a time. For instance, let's do this. Let's just uh, let's have a chromatic arpeggio. Arpeggio. Let's zoom like this. Yeah, we have um, we have eight notes going chromatically up for the arpeggio, and let's turn it on. So I'm, now I have a pentatonic arpeggio. Let's change this. Or dominant. Major pentatonic. Minor. Solidian or neutral. We also have some uh, alternate tuning scales, like some Arabic scales here. Seven notes, seven tone alternate, like Arabic. Sounds Arabic music. Or we have some other makams. Okay, yeah, so much for the skills. And the good thing is you can import um, your own scales as well. Um, but I, I, I guess drag and drop is only available for the iPad. Uh, it's not available on iPhones yet. But basically on the iPhone iPad version of Synthmaster 1, you, you can just uh, drag and drop a Scala tuning file on, on, on this scale drop down and add that scale. Now, uh, in the desktop version of Synthmaster 1, we added some cloud features, like you can synchronize your presets across multiple machines. Uh, to be able to do that, you just click on the preset name, and then you click on the Sync My Presets with Cloud menu. But right now, I, I don't have any internet connection available, so this is not going to work. But basically, the, this is where you do it. And also you can download public presets from the cloud, 
like presets uploaded publicly by other Syncmaster users, Syncmaster 1 users. And there's also another menu here, download bonus presets. When you, um, when you complete registration, uh, you will receive uh, some bonus presets. For the iPhone version, um, by default, it comes with 200 presets. And when you complete registration, you receive another 100 presets. For the universal version, the iPad and iPhone version, it comes with uh, 400 presets. And when you complete registration, you receive another 250 presets, making the to total 650. So this content, um, the, the number of presets available is higher in the universal version, basically. And same for polyphony. Uh, for the iPad version, universal version, Polyphony is 16 on the iPads. On the iPhones, regardless of you are using the iPhone only version or not, uh, we limited Polyphony to 8, uh, considering the fact that uh, iPhones have a, um, lower uh, processors compared to the iPads. And 8 should be pretty sufficient, by the way. Don't worry about it. Uh, now I want to uh, browse some presets, so I will press the browse button. And here you see we have instrument types, uh, authors and bank names. And then we have the presets available. I can just swipe on the presets list or I can just long press and then go up and down. On, or I can uh, just uh, press on press the scroll button here and then scroll up and down like this after I make um, some filtering by like instrument type or author if I want to clear this filter I just click on this erase button here and then uh, my filters will be erased um, there's also a settings menu uh, settings uh, icon here if you click on it you can assign the current list of presets to a MIDI bank, basically. For instance, let's assign all of all factory presets to bank zero. Yes, so now, as you see, MIDI bank zero uh, is now full of uh, programs. So, um, but the thing is, we have more than 100, 128 programs, so to switch to, to a program, uh, you should be sending uh, uh, value 0 for uh, CC0. And then um, we have an uh, MSP value here. And you have to send, um, for instance, for presets, uh, uh, Black Celebration BT, you have to um, send uh, CC32, control change 32 with value zero, and then you, you should uh, send program change 105. Or if you wanna select Pat Regal, you should um, send CC32 with value one, uh, and then program change 119 to select this presets. Here uh, on the MIDI programs um, page, you can just delete pro banks or programs and you can also change the order of the banks and the programs that's all possible you can even uh, just select a preset here and drag and drop uh, but right now since this is a beta drag and drop functionality is not completed yet but hopefully in the next build i will complete that we also have an in-app uh, shop here as you see we list all of our products here right now. The iOS expansions are listed. And it's been a um, feature request for most of our users to, to be able to purchase the purchase our Master 1 desktop presets as an IAP. And finally, we have that here. You can just basically uh, purchase the desktop factory presets uh, for, for only $10. $10. And when you do this, uh, when you purchase this IAP, um, the total number of presets will go to around 1300. Right now, uh, we have 300 presets available here. 
so yeah so much for this and uh, one more thing about uh, about this dialog you can just swipe up to close it this preset uh, dialog and also if you click on this uh, synth master icon the about uh, dialog comes up and here you can see the latest news from us and you can click on the help button and then you can click on the tutorial videos to go to our YouTube page but right now we don't have we don't have uh, in the internet available on this machine okay let's go back to synthmaster 1 and now i will do some basic sound design let's start off from scratch with an init presets <laughs> Oh, wait, let's switch back to chromatic scale. 12 tone chromatic. Sorry. Okay, yes. So this is the default sawtooth waveform. Let's go to the oscillator one page. Let's choose a wavetable. Okay, um, I wanna modulate the oscillator wavetable index with mod wheel. So let's you can I can select mod wheel from here. There's also a simpler alternate workflow. Now I'll just swipe this uh, swipe left here and I will choose mod wheel. As you see, I can choose many modulation sources here. And then I can, I will just drag and drop mod wheel onto the oscillator wavetable index. And now I created a modulation. Okay, let's go through these wavetables now. Ruta sound. Or booster one. Confusing one. flute let's also go through these ones like a four month another four months wave table Okay, yeah, mm. I will just continue with an analog wave table, like a profat pulse waveform. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to the filter page and add some envelope to the filter and let's turn on the filter to change the envelope let's click on mode one let's add some decay Let's also add some modulation for the oscillator. 
let's modulate the wavetable index with like LFO1. Okay, let's synchronize this with the tempo. And let's make it slower. Let's go to the mod matrix and see. Okay, sounds good. Let's go back to the oscillator, add some detune. Stereo spread, unison 7. Let's make this free running. Analog, some analog waveform like a square. Thing I'll show you uh, you don't have to go to the mode matrix to change the modulation amount for instance here uh, we have LFO1 modulating wavetable index as you see just long press the index parameters and now you can change the mode amount These are the workflow improvements we worked really hard on. I mean, these kind of things make uh, sound design really uh, possible on your iPhone. And now it's time to save this preset. I'll, uh, I'll go to the info tab and here I can just change the author name and write a description and after. And I can also change, I can also add some of the styles and attributes uh, and when i'm done with that I, i'll click on the save button and test preset one and we're all set as you see